Hey guys, welcome back for the third round and also the final round. Um, unfortunately, for the third round, me versus Keyshawn, the clip did not process fully and um, I'm not entirely sure whether, you know, the OBS clip recorded the, recorded the battle entirely. So unfortunately, I we lost it. Um, I won the battle and um, I still wanted to show you guys Keyshawn's team. He was a pretty formidable opponent, and um, I can say um, he was pretty strong during the beginning, but um, I came out strong in the end, especially um, with the Dragon I clean up. But I'd really like to battle you again, Kishon. Um, I guess we can move on to the final round now, once you guys can actually get a good look at his team. But yeah, my apologies, I really wish I got the clips. So the final round now, we move on to Glenn. So Glenn, along with myself, has defeated every other opponent so far. So now this is the final match. It's a best of three. So this will be the first set. So Glenn's team, he has three ghost types, which is very interesting. And um, yeah, I see the Paldean Fire Tauros and the Skeledirge. I assume they both run Will-O-Wisp, so it's pretty dangerous for my team, especially Dragonite. Um, I think Coquavel and and also my Cerule Edge should, out, over, should outperform during this battle, but we'll see, Dragonite can be useful. So Glenn also leaves with Palafin. I'm sick and tired of seeing this dolphin, this uber dolphin. We all know what, what it's capable of and what exactly what it wants to do. So just getting a quick review of my team in case I want to make a different play. But of course, the best thing to do is always get my hazards up. So hoping Glamora survives this hit, which is perfect. He tanked it pretty well. We got the toxic spikes up and we also got the rocks up so we'll see who he, who he selects now so he goes into golden goat and um just like the last battle you would have seen exactly how i handled a last um the previous golden goat um after getting some chip damage i would have kept my glamorian and proceeded with you know chipping it down further with the power gem I mean, that's just pretty much what my Glamora does. And let's check him out. He gets a nasty plot. Again, I'm not entirely sure whether this thing is scarfed or not. So that is pretty interesting. So we'll see if we can actually get another hit off. Okay, Glamora outspeeds. So I, I know definitely he's not scarfed. We also get a crit. I'm pretty sure this Shadow Ball is going to take us out. So my next play here right now is, I was thinking maybe get my golden go out since I'm scarfed. Nobody really, really um, catches on to that. They just think it'll be a speed tie, but um, I send out my Aqua Ken, and I think the best play here is to go for the Aqua Step. He has several Pokemon on his team who really, really cannot take it. Um, he has two fire types and um, a few others, but I think my Kukwavel here is going to be set up in the right way right now to, you know, even potentially sweep. So the safest play right here is to go for the Aqua Step. So we get the speed boost, the knockout, therefore the Moxie boost. So far we're still in the lead and he sends out the Tauros. Okay, now this Pokemon here has Intimidate, and um, I also somewhat expect, you know, the will Wisp. But we get the Rocks damage and the Poison damage. Um, I really don't want to get this thing uh, burned, and I know that's exactly what he wants to do. So, you know, after a good bit of thought, I don't think I'm going to leave Aquacan in here. 
So um, I actually want to go into Malos, but I don't want him to predict and hit me with an earthquake. So I'm contemplating, you know, whether to stay in here, take a burn, or potentially predict his Will-O-Wisp and get a safe switch into Malos. But like I said, it'll be tricky. So we're going to test it out and see what he does. So now this is Malo's my jolly shiny Cerulege. So we're not gonna make the same mistakes as the as the last two battles. So we get more poison damage, and um, we're gonna use the uh, sword stance. So there it is, the earthquake. So we get the weak armor boost. And, um, you know, with him actually doing a bit of damage to me and not sending me to 1 HP, um, it's not revealed what my item is. And um, if he stays in here, we're going to try and get this clean close combat. He withdraws and sends out Palafin. Let's see if we can actually take this thing out. Check out the damage. So after the chip damage and everything else, we'll see if we can one-shot this thing. This absolute monster. Just like that. After that sword's dance, we're able to take it out, even with the speed boost. Pretty good. So that's a major threat out of my way. We'll see what Glenn tries to do next. Um, like I said, we got um we got rid of most of our, our um most of the problematic Pokemon. So he now sends out this this Tauros. We'll see exactly what he wants to do next. I mean he can only fall up right now with an earthquake or potentially, you know, let me take him out. Now after the intimidate, there's only so much we can do. I probably should have went for um, the close combat or something. Okay, there it is. We're able to take out the fire Tauros. And Malos is pretty much on a sweep here. Pretty good. Skrulich is a really good Pokemon, even with the um, average speed, but his ability can really make up for it. So now he sends out Annihilate. I'm not 100% sure what kind of set this is. What is a Scarf Jolly? Um, the max HP set with Bulk Up or something else. But um, I was thinking maybe Bitter Blade can get some HP back. But this thing, you know, hits pretty hard, and we also outspeed. But I just go for the safe play, Shadow Sneak, see if we can get something off. And again, I don't, I'm not sure if he's Scarf. So he goes for the Rage Fist, and gets a good bit of damage off. Okay, with my Malos. And don't forget now, you get more damage off than him as the Poison Ticks. And again, Dragonite is still pretty useless. Um, at this point, he has a lot of ghost types, but we got rid of most of the main threats. Keep in mind, that's how we defeat him. Um, the, well, this time, um, you know, get up my hazards pretty early, rocks, everything else, and, you know, whittle down his fire types. His team is actually pretty bulky, and um, we'll see where that takes us at the end of this battle and further down the line. So. Aqua Ken comes out, and of course, the best play here is to go for the Aqua Step. Keep in mind now, um, I know now that he's not a Jolly Nature uh, in, um, Annihilate, sorry, and um, I'm able to take him out. So he more than likely is running a defensive set, Bulk Up. So we're able to take him out and get our boost back. So he sends out Scala Dirge, and I'm 100% sure this is unaware, and it can take a few hits. So, um, like I said, at this point, Dragonite cannot help as much, especially even after Dragon Dance versus this thing. But um, most I can do is try to maximize my damage, and instead of focusing on Dragonite, perhaps we can focus on um, Coquavo, and he can carry us through this game. He has two Pokemon left, so. Um, Pretty, pretty safe, we can actually get the um, Aqua Step off and see how much damage we do. Okay, so he reveals the Will-O-Wisp. 
It's definitely a bold Will-O-Wisp hex set. Pretty sure Tart Song and so on. You can see he was able to take that hit pretty well. This team pretty much, you know, was built to counter Dragonite. So it really, really makes me wonder. So definitely getting up hazards versus his team is very, very essential. So we're easily able to, you know, outspeed him here and we have enough damage and he's in the percentage, the HP range just to get knocked out. Pretty sure the skill will become a problem much later. But we'll see. So we seem to be in the clear now to win this first battle. And um, yeah, remember now it's a best of three. Initially, I would have I would have told the guys in our group, you know, just keep it as a knockout match. But I blurted out my big mode. Maybe we should keep the final match as a best of three, you know, just to give the other person a chance, especially to learn the the um, the opponent's team. But yeah, we'll see whether whether or not that comes in my favor.